is there something bigger here? Is this the, the, the bursting of the social media bubble? Yeah, I would say that. Again, I would say it already happened. But I think the thing is that people finally get to see, because these companies have to publicly report, how their business models are not quite as attractive as people thought when they were you know, being traded in the private markets and nobody really knew what was going on with them. I mean, but it seems that Facebook's problems revolve around the failure, t to some extent, to shift to uh, mobile. You know, you know, you know, the, the advertising stream is, doesn't seem as quite as lucrative there. Is that a, you know, is this an external problem that they're facing, or is it something inherently wrong with the entire pricing of this, this particular sector? Oh, I would say the latter, sure, because, you know, Mark Zuckerberg has kept telling people that he's going to put the user experience before profitability, and I think now people should believe him because mm. that's exactly what he's been doing. Um, you know, Facebook went public in a quarter when it wasn't profitable. We found that out yesterday. So, you know, I don't think it's a surprise that people, not many people want to own the stock as they did three months ago. So where does it go from here? I mean, we've, we've lost, you know, I think, 50% you know, off the IPO price, um, but the shares are still trading, what, 80 times uh, current earnings. Um, you know, that's still a very lofty valuation. How much further can it go? Oh, sure. No, they're still pricey. Um, and the ad model is unproven. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, until they prove that advertisers want to jump on board, the valuation could come down. I mean, even if they hit the targets that Wall Street has for them now, they're still pricey. I right. think it's very, you know, we'll see whether they hit those or not. Right. Um, so I think they're, certainly they could go lower. Certainly. Okay. Now, it, it, the, I mean, as I say, I, I was covering the, uh, the internet boom back at the, uh, the beginning of the last decade, and, and that was uh, obviously ha had a sort of far-reaching impact when that bubble burst. Uh, is there something broader at stake here? Do we have any sort of risks for the broader market if we do see a continued decline for these high-profile, uh, you know, contemporary internet companies? Oh, for the internet sector, for new internet companies, sure. I mean, these were the companies that had all the juice in Silicon Valley. Uh, they were the ones that every ven uh, venture capitalist wanted to buy into. Um, and they're being shown not to be valued at what people thought. So I think the, a lot of the impact is going to be felt maybe more in Silicon Valley and with private companies than more so with the broader market. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I cover the dot-com thing also. And it, it's basically the same problem. These are great businesses, fun businesses. People love to use them, but they're not making a lot of money. You know, they're just, they're not. Right, but I mean, we looked at what happened in the dot-com bubble and it was seen as a shakeout. And then, of course, we did get a shift whereby Google and others really took advantage of that, of that new era. And then we did see the winners start to emerge. We're going to see something similar in this case, whereby there are some real companies that start to add value on a more reasonable basis, perhaps, going forward. Oh, sure. There's, there's going to be a couple winners, just as there was, you know, 12 years ago. Amazon, eBay, you know, they did okay in the wake of the dot-com bubble. Um, not quite at the valuations people thought. But, you know, Facebook's not going away. Um, I don't believe LinkedIn's going away, unless sometimes Facebook decides to buy them. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to look at the number of companies that are going to be surviving a couple years from now, it's going to be very small. There'll be a couple winners, and, and just I think, quickly, at much lower valuations. Right. Um, but, you know, the Groupon and Zynga, I, I don't see them surviving, to be yeah. honest with you. And just quickly, you mentioned earlier that the, the, the impact would be felt in Silicon Valley. If venture capitals don't, don't see the gains to be had down the road. You know, does this just shut the door for many startups? And what does it mean for job prospects in, in that region? Um, eventually, you would think so, although that's not happening yet, especially when Facebook bought Instagram for a billion dollars. So hmm. still, you know, the, the spigot is still flowing. Um, it hasn't filtered down that far yet. 